in precious seed you shall no doubt come back with joy come on shall no doubt come back rejoicing Hallelujah. bringing in the sheaves can we just get down on our knees for a moment and just thank the Lord hallelujah for his mighty acts God bless you amen just thank the Lord for a minute for his mighty acts hallelujah in prayer hallelujah for his mercy for his grace hallelujah that fruit can be born there can be journeying mercies amen the climax of the gospel is in operation yes lord we thank you for giving us grace and mercy and favor hallelujah that we can see before our eyes the fruit yes lord yes lord we thank you lord we praise the lord we glorify you. lord glory to god continue lord to order our steps according to your will in this time oh lord we praise you oh lord we glorify you. let your mighty hand be upon your children lord across the world across the world across the world hallelujah and those who are getting ready to go in jesus name you may rise to your seat as soon as you can hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah it is so overwhelming so powerful hallelujah in jesus hallelujah jesus and i was i was very moved you know just yesterday as i saw you know god's revival breaking one of the things is to identify when you are going into a season a few days ago a, a, a great man of god spoke among you that harvest army was entering into its season not just a new season but the climactic season hallelujah glory to god and we know you got four seasons according to the calendar and the third season according to calendar goes from july until september and september is according to the calendar the end of summer the bible says in jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 20 the harvest is past the summer is ended and we are not saved september is the ninth month we have seen a september that at the worst calamities that we can ever remember can I get a witness? It's all connected. It's all connected. If I ever speak this evening because time is gone, I'm going to speak on the unexpected effects. The unexpected effect of revival. The things they never think about. The things why when Jesus asked for the greatest men of God to watch one more hour and they were missing in that hour. Good people, but they were missing and God allowed some women to be there at the grave. Glory to God in the ninth hour. I gave up the ghost. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I looked in Brooklyn and God gave a revelation already in Brooklyn. He said, God's revival. Come on, somebody. Two weeks. Brooklyn. Amen. Come on, somebody. And those of you who are keen spiritually, Keep my mic up in the back. It don't have to be loud over here, but in the back it got to be loud because the people are complaining that they can't hear. So, you know, it's loud enough for you, but in the back you got to put it up so that the recording is high. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If I go down, then you have to go up. Yeah? Amen. 
so in God, the, 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 the revelation came God's revival Brooklyn to which hallelujah hallelujah that means there's something about Brooklyn I don't care because you're from the Bronx I don't care if you want to get upset come on I don't care if you're from Queens and Long Island and you know Atlanta you can't feel God right now I'm talking about Brooklyn where well, God always have a token hallelujah and if you're humble what happened to Brooklyn will happen to you double better than them you see your God is know how to come on somebody come on somebody God always have a symbol and a token so God says God's revival hallelujah Brooklyn two weeks came in 2007 the revelation came come on somebody glory to God and I see before my eyes I see different churches begin to arise in Brooklyn so we're not alone come on somebody and these churches were making their own invitations and some of these churches were advertising better than we come on one had John uh, no one on John 316 and in their oh they had the whole thing about God, uh, about the worldwide vision day in their oh we never do that no next time we're gonna do that come on are you with me somebody you didn't get you didn't get me John and their, their oh they use as the world come on somebody Glory to God. And they all and they all humble themselves and they say we're joining with, with the harvest army. And no church who join with the harvest army have to fear nothing. Yeah. Harvest army is the cleanest church. When they come on to people, we don't we don't take come on, we don't take members from other churches. That's a harvest army sin. <laughs> come on, somebody. You're not listening to me. Dear Harvest Army Pastor, take a member from a church that cooperate with the church. Dear you, we come right here and send them back. Come on. Because they must be free to work with the revival. And have to worry about nothing. Any problem, we send over there. We send help over there. Say amen at me. Come on, because it's God's revival. And I see it breaking. I thank God for the Brooklyn Church and the, the initiative. <laughs> Hallelujah. In reaching other churches. I saw the pastors and brethren preaching up a storm. Amen. One doing it for the first time. And you could not know. You could not know it's the first time. Did you hear what I said? Almost preaching better than we. And it's the first time. That's why you never look down on nobody. Some folks start well and then they fade. Come on, somebody. Some start late and then they they go up. Come on, somebody. And I don't care what happened in your past. Amen. We have a we don't talk about past, we talk about now. No matter how we preach hard, it's from now we're talking. Are you gonna help me? We, we don't believe in past stuff. Come on, so that's demon stuff. I don't care what happened last week. Come on, somebody. If I call it to my office, it's from now I'm talking about. Because anybody can turn. Come on, you've been getting excited. Some folks don't want to see people turn so that, so that they can accuse them and abuse them. No, 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 no. Anybody can turn. I don't care what you did yesterday. If you turn today, come on, somebody. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Come on, so you, you ain't saying amen. You ain't saying because nobody here can handle your past. Nobody. You do lift up your hand. You do lift up your hand. I rebuke you. Shake it, Bahasa Pakata. None of you deal under your past because if we you see your past in detail, you're gonna run out here for you right now. So we're talking about now. So we don't care how late you start. Some church gonna start after we and preach better than we. 
and a better advertisement, better this, better that, better. Mm, come on, somebody. Amen. But as long as you say, Harvest Army is the great grandfather, that's all right. Come on, somebody. Go ahead and let God have his way. Because it's, you might try to hide it, but it's by the food grandpa known. <laughs> you're not excited you're not excited folks want to, want to say it's not my grandpa it's not my, uh, but you are the fruit <laughs> you're not excited you know what's happening right now God set it up have you ever wondered why God set it up that until God come people are going to be on the earth why so much animal extinct and come on uh, and human still increasing come on that's a miracle by itself that's how God set up revival come on you're not you're not you're not with me somebody you're going normal that God set up revival that even when they rise against those who got started they can't stop hallelujah because they are the fruit of, and God says in, in James somewhere five seven he said a husband man waited for the grandpa no he waited for the great no 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 he waited for the fruit <laughs> so uh, while you're fighting you don't know you're promoting everything God revival must come that's why when they were trying to block Jesus from come from coming a harlot came on the scene are you with me that's why we don't permit none of you to leave your husband or your wife. You cannot do that. Why you get quiet? You cannot do that. You have to go to a different church. And if you're a leader, you cannot condone that. You have to go to a different planet. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Not even adults, you can't, you can't condone for one to leave the other. They leave, you okay, can't do nothing after adultery. But you as a pastor, you cannot condone with that one lead the other, no matter what they tell you. Because God told Hosea to go marry back to the harlot. And you ready to be a funny then you must draw a line. Yeah. <laughs> You're not following me. It's the fruit. And God set it up that no matter what you do, a harlot will get it done. Yes. You have a lot of judgment in your mind, you know, so you're not working with me. If we, if we hold the people, let it go. Come on, somebody. God raise up some criminals like Paul because the apostles got full of themselves they were too anointed come on they were too educated they were too theological glory to God Jesus and got full of themselves they got what they call pride of grace you can be so powerful that they begin to consider yourself a kind of angel so God God wants to rock your boat so you raise up a nobody I say not you is me <laughs> That's why this revival cannot stop. The same with the human race growing, the revival will grow. Say amen. amen. Someone say God's revival. God's revival. Amen. And we got folks getting ready to go to go off tonight and tomorrow. That's why we go on until Wednesday. And you can still go. You can go to another state. And, and those of us who are here in New York, we keep on on the street until Wednesday. Amen. Hallelujah. No, come on somebody and, and, and now, now we've just gone into into uh, October but we go but, uh, but the beginning of January will be 2018 and like I told you that, 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 that oh my god glory to god the unexpected effect one of the things that is not realized is the ninth hour effect Shibaba Satarabanda hallelujah from this september which at the worst calamities we have seen until january and when we get to january that's 2018 that's nine right there 
God will allow judgment to soften the hearts. Oh my God, some of the brethren didn't want to go to Mexico because Mexico had all them, them you know, the earthquake and, and a hurricane and, and, and eruption, volcanic eruption and, and fires and a lot of other troubles right there. But I told them, I told them, as long as I can find a hotel that not broken down, Come on, somebody. My God, and it might even be cheaper. See if you find a hotel that's that broken down and, and get down there. Amen to Mexico because their hearts are softened. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2, fix it if I got it wrong. God said, the child of God must not fear, my God, the fears of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen who fear the signs of heaven in the midst. Did I get it right? I got it right. In the midst of hurricane. Come on, somebody. An earthquake and volcanic eruption. Get ready to stay in broken down hotel. Because the important thing is the word of God that's up on you come on somebody and the bible says a word fitly spoken i think you saw 111 somewhere there my god a word fitly spoken hallelujah is all you need for the earth was made by earth but by, by words from the lord Come on, somebody, say amen in me. Say, wake up, wake up and say amen in me. I said, and no earth and nothing, hallelujah, was made by the word of God. And the word of God is up on you and in you. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Somebody praise his name the unexpected effect is in motion hallelujah those of you who are in jamaica at that regional convention day western convention in seven we bless you and their theme is god's revival hallelujah anything can happen you know since convention you know since convention some folks still getting their visa since the last convention because what god is doing come on come on did you didn't know that you, 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 you can't handle it you can't handle me right now some of you baby sulky and me come on somebody you know some folks who who, who their husband gone say i'm coming back baby come on somebody you know that all kind of stuff going on one husband say, I, 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 I just want you back. Come on, somebody here. Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and after they're they praying that the lady will just say yes. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You know what's going on here? Come on, it's revival. I said, the devil is a liar. And don't, don't look at me because I look tired. Come on, somebody. It's not the flesh, it's the spirit. My God of mercy. Come on, is anybody there? Somebody said God's revival. Somebody said God's revival. I'm telling you, man, it's taking form. It's breaking in Brooklyn. It's breaking in the families. I don't care what's going on in your family. Amen. Be happy. It's going to be all right. Come on, somebody. I said, my care. I don't don't care how long he take to come back he's coming back in the name of jesus i can't hear nobody with me you are selfish folks only care about your own soul come on somebody but i declare hallelujah families hallelujah hallelujah revived when you have revival everything revive soul revive money revive health revive family revive you ain't saying amen with me because you want me to preach good i don't have to preach good after worldwide vision dear worldwide vision dear is already the sermon so leave me alone let me give my little lines come on somebody somebody show god's revival ah! 
Baron K was dead. Hallelujah. It's alive. Come on, somebody. Come on. I don't care if you left. Amen. Your seat is still there. It's in the third row. Amen. The sixth seat. Come on, somebody. It's all there. If you give us trouble, we put your name under the bottom. Amen. Because this move ain't no move against people. It's a move of God. Amen. Can handle anything. Come on, come on. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what you did. I don't care if you went down. This revival is for you. Come on, somebody. So you're not excited with me. I know you don't understand me. That's why Arvis Army do expel people. You gotta understand what's going on because this move is mightier than tradition. Raka Shaka Shaba God has raised up and move on the earth. Walk away, you can't come back. It's not everybody's prodigal. Somebody was penitent. Somebody was mistaken. You ain't saying amen at me. You don't want revival. You want your little church with your in your corner. Come on, a perfect people. You don't work that way. Somebody say revival. Come on, somebody. Can't get nobody with me. Masha basa taraba. Mandara baba basa. Somebody shout revival. It can fit you in. There's space for you. You ain't saying amen in me. You ain't saying amen in me. I said there is space for you. Come on, somebody. The train is filled. Amen. Well, take my seat. Come on, somebody. Who willing to give up their seat? You're not going to come onto the train. You just stand up. That's all. You just stand up in the train. Come on, somebody. Somebody shall revive all. But I feel this thing. I know you don't get me yet. But I feel this thing. I feel God has taken the move into another level. Amen. Where some folks going to be uncomfortable because it's revival time. You got to look around and see somebody strange. They say, What you expect is revival. You don't expect me to be inside. I need revival. Come on, somebody. Why are you putting me down? I'm here because I want revival. I'm not here because I'm perfect. I'm here because I want revival. I'm here because I'm sensitive. I've been down. I've been struggling. But I'm sensitive. I know. I know. When revival is about to run the planet don't call me out don't call me out i am in god have mercy i can't find nobody glad for anybody nobody don't glad for anybody come on somebody somebody stand up on your feet and give god praise for revival that's why god call it revival you have to be unrevived to be revived oh god have mercy somebody praise him Lord Abbasada, sit down in the Holy Ghost. Sit down. Shiva. Lord, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say, Un the un unexpected effect. Amen. 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 And the first effect is the all flesh effect. All flesh all flesh is in it amen all flesh someone say all flesh yes what do you mean all flesh god said don't don't take out the, the tears or you'll move some wheat come on pastors be wise don't remove the tears don't don't, don't run to expel and move out and no, no, come on, somebody. Come on. Glory to God. Can I, can I get serious? America could, could kill Castro a long time. Ah, it's a promise, and I say yes. So. America could kill Castro a long time. But they contain him instead of killing him. Till he die. Come on. You don't understand this. Come on. They try to do it covertly, and it never work. Come on, somebody. But they could do it overtly. They can send a missile. They know exactly where he is, where he's sleeping. They can send a missile and destroy him. 
but they would have world up poor. Come on. They would be isolated worldwide. So they just contain him. Pastors don't learn to expel every expel, expel, expel. Come on. It's revival time. Amen. Come on. I know somebody didn't get that. Come on, Jean God. Hallelujah. So we, we can work. It will work. Come on, somebody. And sometimes because of 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 Cuba, America have to make sure that they sharp. Come on, they fix their their guns and have their stuff shine. And because of Cuba in the church, come on, America have to be in prayer. You're not getting revelation and fasting and in holiness. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you know, you're still not following me yet. Come on, somebody. And Cuba is only 90 miles away. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And I'm married. And when they come to, to the shores, the moment you land from Cuba, they say you are an American. Did you know that? They call it wet, wet something. As long as your foot wet. Did you know that? They said, well, as long as your foot wet. And you arrive on the country and they see you wet in sea water you are immediately a citizen you didn't get it you didn't get it glory to god someone say revival i'm talking about revival i'm talking about god's revival and we can handle everything can handle the ins and handle the outs can handle the ups can handle the downs come on somebody Glory to God. Come on, somebody. It's gone beyond the men. It's gone beyond bishop. Come on. Did you look and see the brother addressing 80 bishops? Because you weren't looking. But, uh, Adam, you, you were getting jealous or what? You were getting jealous. Come on, the brother. Come on, somebody. You, you, you got to know. You got to know when there's some unusual happen, which is unexpected. The brother before 80 of the top bishops and pastors in the country stand up before them and tell them some of your pastor you alone preaching in the, in the church come on in the church only bishop alone can preach but in my church everybody can preach if the pastor don't feel so well he can call sister brown or brother james to preach come on did you hear him come on that's a brother have it so clear that's revival you know how many millions of brothers and sisters that god is raising up just like that hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah somebody said the, un the unexpected effect hallelujah so you are in it Turn to your neighbor and say, you are in it. Come on, somebody. So I don't care what you think about me. I am in it. Come on, you can't can say that one. Come on, don't be afraid. Say, I don't care what you think about I am in it. Come on, come on. Nobody by yourself. Right now. Turn to somebody. Don't be afraid of them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I just speak that word. The anointing is upon you. I am playing today, Bishop. I am playing today. I'm letting the Lord have his way. As you open your mouth and speak those words, that revival anointing is coming upon you right now. I release and confirm it right now. In the name of Jesus, the revival anointing, the end time revival anointing. So, so you, so you, you have the all flesh effect, and you have the disqualified effect. Yes, yes, yes. You disqualified. You disqualify me. Oh, oh, you're so wrong. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. My God. First Corinthians one twenty six. He says, "Not many mighty." Come on, all wise, all noble. Come on, our call. It doesn't mean that there are not a few of them, but not the majority of them. 
Come on, somebody. Somebody say you can't preach like the bishop. Tell them I'm one of them. Come on, somebody here. I'm one, I'm disqualified, but I'm one of them. Amen. I am among the unexpected effect. Hallelujah. They don't know, but it's up on me. Revival is up on me. Glory to God. So you have the all flesh effect. Are you there? Then you have the disqualified effect. As soon as we finish, then you have the immigrant effect. This won't sit well with some folks. Listen to me. There will be no revival without the immigrants. Come on, I'm giving you the Bible. I'm giving you the Bible. I'm giving you the Bible. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> That's how God works. If you think that you are you are so set up and you got everything together, amen. You better connect with the immigrants. Come on, I don't care what you have, I don't care how far you reach. You could be the governor, you could be the president, you could be the head of any church. You better connect with the immigrants because it's a part of the unexpected effect. Hallelujah. Say amen. amen. Say amen. I'm losing you. I'm losing you. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. In 1 Corinthians 14 21. Somebody catch a scripture for me. First Corinthians 14 21. Catch it for me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it speaks of people of other tongues. Glory to God. A God gonna rise up. Hallelujah. In the revival. Did anybody get it yet? Glory to God. You got it? You read it for me. Glory to God. Son of son. Glory to God. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people and yet, and yet for all that will they not hear me saith the Lord did you hear that come on somebody the people connect with people of other tongues connect with immigrants don't just be there saying I am this I'm a citizen I am this I was born here you had nothing to do with where you were born so humble yourself Come on, somebody. You could be born in the north, the south, whatever. Amen. You have nothing to do with it. So God's in revival time. Adjust yourself. Come on, somebody here. You can't hang. I'm going to stop right now. Okay, okay. I see you can't hang. You gave me permission and then you can't handle it. You just want normal preaching. You just want gentle Jesus, meek and my. God going to send somebody who oh, two in the morning, he going to appear to that father and say, the boy you have going to change the world. And they want to kill him tonight. So take him across the border. You know what? I don't know. But all I know, he got into Egypt. Come on, somebody. And at certain time, God brought down the powers of darkness and brought back the immigrant God of mercy you just want your normal preaching here amen I'm preaching with another power right now be careful of your hungry immigrants come on somebody it's called the unexpected effect come on connect with the nobody connect with the one to do stuff to be where you are somebody said the unexpected effect if you have any strength to say it say it with me the unexpected effect hallelujah. hallelujah glory to god so you have the all flesh effect the disqualified effect god in trouble the immigrant effect come on somebody and the ninth hour effect Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Won't be long on that. We quote the verse already, Jeremiah 8 and verse 20. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. The ninth hour effect represents those things that are happening right now, those the, the judgment of God upon the earth that will cause men to turn. Oh crabo satarababa. And finally, for tonight, the prophetic effect. Be careful how you move. The Lord gave a word, and here's the word. The word God gave, he says, come out of arm's way. I hear the Lord saying, come out of arm's way. I hear the Lord say, don't let nobody remove you from the revival. Because the revival is ready for you, no matter how you see negative, it's not of man. You know by now it's not of man. Come on, somebody. Let nobody move you. 
no matter what they tell you come on somebody it's called a prophetic effect watch me young man there's some things gonna happen to you two years from now that you don't know what you don't know what but you gotta stay with something that see ahead folks do things that they never thought they would because they don't know what's coming but if you stay with the prophetic god will order your step stand up everybody don't quickly run away from the prophetic that's reckless the prophetic may not know every detail for god say he, he prophesied and we know in part and we prophesy in part that's why the bible says in isaiah 29 verse 20 21 god said i will judge any man who try to attack the attack the sermon or the prophecy by a word say what about that word you, you said this and you said that no 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 the prophetic god knows what's happening come on somebody and that's why when you are sent don't fight it sometimes god serve and see what you don't see and if you, you don't go it ain't gonna be good for you glory to god somebody said the prophetic effect yes receive it receive it there are things happening right now that you want to make sure that your feet is ordered by the lord the lord revealed a, a, a spiritual leader a spirit and when i say spiritual leader can go from a deacon a missionary a sunday school teacher a pastor a bishop or whatever but it's a spiritual leader god shows that you are about it's not easy to explain but i'm going to try you are about to intervene in something but in your intervention you have to compromise to defend somebody kind of look like you're defending somebody but what you did not know is that when you're finished defending that person whatever you get them out of is you have to take that place did i explain properly lord and that place represents the risk of death yes 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 somebody right now don't compromise with anybody next 30 days anybody doing wrong don't compromise with them hold the line okay you're gonna try to hold the line next 30 days because i i don't perfectly understand the revelation but all i know whatever you did you were sort of compromising trying to speak up for somebody who was not doing well and what you did not realize is that what, what once you do that you have to take the place of that person and that person was exposed to death and you are shocked when you realize that uh, it's, it's like a judge I'm not sure. it's, like, it's like the judge and the judge said okay i take what you say i accept what you say but you have to fit in for them you have to serve their sentence and then you discover that that sentence is death i'm telling you i have to explain it don't compromise give love give arms come on somebody give instruction give them the word but don't compromise nothing you see going around don't compromise i don't like that revelation but it's revival time somebody praise the lord sure. and, and listen when you hear revelation you don't get paranoid you hear me now because that's up the devil too you just get prudent amen be careful but not fearful somebody said not fearful but careful Someone said, not paranoid, but prudent, and you'll be all right. Say amen, somebody. Oh, glory to God. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Get ready for the unexpected effect. Somebody pray after me, Lord. Let your mighty hand of revival come upon my life in the name of jesus i rebuke tradition of men in the name of jesus i rebuke the past in the name of jesus i rebuke every past attack against me in the name of jesus i make a change in my life in the name of jesus i repent 
of every wrong. In the name of Jesus, I make a turn in my life right now. I don't care what the past has been. I make a turn today in the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive the unexpected supernatural effect of revival in my life, in my walk, in my talk, in my sleep, in my wake, in my house, all part of me. I receive the unexpected effect of revival in me now. Hallelujah. The devil don't like this. Shiba baba ba shakaya. Shara baba ba. He's a shiki baba ba. He's a past accuser. But I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. He can't handle revival. That's why God call it revival. He can't handle revival. But we release revival. Mashiba baba upon the earth in the name of Jesus. Like Ezekiel prophesy to the dry bones. This day we prophesy to the dry bones across the earth. We prophesy God's revival. In the name of Jesus. We prophesy the unexpected effects upon your life in the name of Jesus somebody praise him sit down if you can sit down if you can hallelujah hey! hallelujah hallelujah anything from God you have to don't want it to don't manifest it you have to don't want heaven to go to hell come on somebody that's why hell is so hot come on come on somebody you have to want to go there to get there and as long as your heart want to, want to go to heaven you are going to heaven my, my god of mercy here my god my god i feel some here it's stop i have to stop somebody said the unexpected effect of revival is up on me. I feel like some of you can preach this better than me. I feel like throw the mic to somebody here. Yes, because the unexpected effect, I can feel it in the air. Some folk, mm. and some of you never preach. My God, you're gonna preach better than this preacher. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody says stop now. Somebody says stop now. Somebody says stop now. My God of mercy. Glory to God. I, I, you, won't, you won't say stop now. Come on. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to hear that so I can't stop because, because I don't feel like stop. I'm, I'm going to smite my shiva. My devil can't handle. He can't handle. God set it up that they can't stop revival. Come on, somebody. That's why when God revival power is upon you, those around you got to be careful because there's a lot of power. Come on, somebody. When that young man, when that brother walk into Rwanda and stand up before them bishops, it's a lot of power upon him. Come on, somebody. It's the power of 300 countries. My God have mercy. It's the power of God that came upon the brother. My yes, sir. He's not a bishop. Come on, somebody. But when he stood up to speak, hallelujah. You are bishops and pastors have to listen because a lot of power. Hallelujah. Ah! Be careful around God's revival people. Hallelujah. It's grateful. It's powerful. Come on, somebody. God anoint them to shake 300 countries. And they don't have to look like angels. 
they're still gonna look like a man but yet still what coming out from them is not to play and God set it up that it, it have to work and if Harlot can do it you ain't saying amen you won't tell me to stop and that's why you're in trouble come on somebody I said if Harlot can do it how about one at Harlot's come on somebody you thought when you mention Harlot you mean that they were good no Harlot are not good people they're bad people oh God say if Harlot can do it what about you who's a good living child of God make mistake now and then but you love God give God praise give God praise you're not going to tell me to stop oh glory to God I don't know no church like this in the world so I'm going to stop I'm going to stop 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 that's it get ready to give your offering right now Sheba Rakasatara. Get ready to give your